had to find him. I had to find him something functional. So he, he grew up as a Tar Heels fan. And so I got on Tar Heels colors for really? the golf. Yeah, game. I never knew that. I was a big Tar oh, Heels fan. We're back. We're back. Welcome back, oh, back oh, everybody. Oh, I snuck one in. Yes. You son of a bitch. Yes. That's how Jimmy was so born. Gonna... <laughs> oh, well, I want to thank you back for tuning in. Just want to let everyone know that uh, Jamie is human. Why? What did he do? So mm. last podcast, I'm pretty sure it was on air. It I said, on, hey, yeah. can you give me two thing, two orders of the, the chocolates for Mother's Day for my wife? Because she's oh, okay. pregnant and she likes chocolate. So, That's, what, you know, it's a nice offer. Nice yeah, offer, Jamie. Sure. Yeah. So, I worked yesterday. I texted him, like, hey, dude. And he forgot. Yeah. Did you put the order in at all? Yeah. Nice. No, no I forgot to put the order in with my daughter. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I, I had just woken up when you sent me that text and uh, just the sinking feeling in my stomach. That's why I did it so early in the morning. I could have waited, but I didn't I want no. to come hard. Yeah, I feel terrible. I apologize. Um, Listen, the only time I forgot shit from you telling me to do it. Uh, you know, but it's, you know, this was from my daughter. It was Mother's Day. It was supposed to be chocolates for your Listen, wife. She can practice so. again. You can do this week. There you go. There <laughs> you know, go. I think this would have been a prime opportunity for you to blame your daughter. She forgot the order. I think that you gotta push her in front of it. Oh no! Oh yeah! No, she's so Jimmy. On the other hand, yes. Yeah, Jimmy. I would blame in a heartbeat. Okay. My daughter's. That's my princess. She gets man. the pass. She well, gets the pass. Well, she was. She was injured. She is still injured. Yes. You, ste- you stepped on her foot. I did not step on her foot. She fell off the patio thing. Like your wife did. Nope, that was my wife. She missed a step. Uh, she missed a step. Yeah. No, my daughter uh, fouled a pitch off. Yeah, we didn't talk practice. about that last time. I yeah. Mean, I actually kind of brought up like. Yeah. Breaking. So she fouled it off her front foot, and uh, uh, we actually went back to the doctor on Friday. It's still so swollen. They they said it's basically. We're not going to do an x-ray. It's either a hairline fracture or a deep contusion. We treat them both the same. So she's yeah, actually you... wearing my wife's boot from when she broke her foot in October, and she fits in it. Damn. So, yeah. yeah. Sense of pride. Well, it's been uh, it's been a rough, I don't know, six months in our house for injuries. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so she had a soccer tournament this weekend that she missed, um, but my wife really wanted to take her out to it for Mother's Day because she's never been able to go to a Mother's Day tournament. She's always been working. Oh. So she took her yesterday morning. It was like 8 a.m. They left, and it was like it wasn't, it wasn't bad. <laughs> like it was, it was, you know, it wasn't terrible out. By the time they got 30 minutes away to the field, uh, they had gone through drizzle, heavy rain, sleet, and then it was snowing by the time they got there. So, yeah, so they uh, Welcome to Cleveland. They turned around yeah. and came home. Typical May day. Yeah, yeah, so, it really was. Speaking of injuries, I sneezed yesterday and my back cracked, so <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> Why, why are you looking at me like that? Did you blow away after you sneezed? No, 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 no. But my feeble back from playing too much golf is starting to waste away on me. Yeah, and it's it very early in the year. <laughs> Normally that happens in the fall when yeah. I'm... This past weekend we went to a friend's uh, her daughter's first communion. Nice, yeah. So my daughter, my wife made me go to the store to get her cards. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, for some reason in my mind, confirmation. So I'm thinking, I'm looking at the, the card section. There's like anniversary, you know, funeral, this, that. I see confirmation i'm like there's one confirmation but yet there's like seven first communions mm-hmm. yeah i got the wrong card <laughs> when did you notice my wife said hey dumbass you got the wrong card really glad you brought this up really glad Goodbye. so the girls went to uh, the soccer thing yesterday grab my son i go hey we're making dinner tonight let's run to the store we run to the grocery store we grab everything that i need to make uh, i made some ribs and some potatoes and everything we're on the way back. I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot to grab cards for her, for mom. We had already gotten her um, gifts. We were down at the draft. We, we we stopped at CLE Clothing, got her a shirt and a couple other things. So we, we stop at uh, Drug Mart to grab some cards. Go in. That? I end up grabbing a couple other things. And, like, you know how it is. You walk into Drug Mart, you got to like, grab dude, a couple things. It's the worst because, like, the, everything's, like, good but yeah, cheap. It's yeah. crazy. So then we go over to the cards. Now, I, have, I didn't grab a card, so my hands are full of other things. Oh. I'm trying to pick out cards in the Mother's Day section. It's a huge fucking section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to pick something out for my daughter, something out for my son. He's trying to help, but he's a 10-year-old boy. He doesn't have a fucking clue. Yeah. And uh, did you get your daughter an expectant mother's card? No. (laughs) Jesus. Jesus Christ. Wow. (laughs) That was aggressive. So so (laughs) we check out. (laughs) I can't say a word. I know. I came in in hot. You're right. So we check out. We get home. I'm I'm trying to get everything together. I want everything on the table. (laughs) Sorry. I want everything on the table before my wife gets home. And uh, I hear my son say, why does this say happy birthday? And I'm like, what? He's like, why does this card say happy birthday? I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, that's a good one. Just shut the fuck up. I walk over. Not the card from my son, not the card from my daughter. The the fucking card from me 
instead of saying happy Mother's Day, he said happy birthday. So you say you crossed it out to mothers. I just wrote, oh my God, on like where it said happy birthday. And on the inside, I, I, I was. She probably loved it more that way. Yeah, I don't know. This is the thought that counts. It, it, it is, but man. Listen. What a fuck up. So yeah, well, no. So go back to when I went to the first game party and my daughter was like in heaven because like there's kids. Oh, like, yeah. But they're like not really her age. A little bit, like a couple years older, like you know, a lot older actually. But you have the girls there and they're like, oh. Oh my God, like she's like in heaven. So these girls are like, she's like bosses little girls around. And they don't care because they'd love it. They want, you know, they're all nurturing. Actually, I look and my daughter's wearing a like Cinderella dress or no, um, frozen uh, Elsa dress. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, geez. Okay, whatever. Make sure I look again and she has a blonde wing on. I'm like, hmm. Then I look a little bit later and she has glitter in her eyes. I'm like, what is going on right now? And then I'm like, Going to the stage, moo. Oh, and my no. wife, my wife, we just started dying of laughter because, like, <laughs> dude, she looked bad. Like, yeah. she had those shoes on. She had like these boots on. Yeah, they, they look like like super boots. So your two and a half year old looked like she was getting ready 100%. to put on a show. No, that that, or Beth Chapman, God rest her soul, or Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. <laughs> it was bad. Dude. Also, I put a yeah, I posted a little story. Did it looked like your uh, your extensions when you dressed up like Joe Dirt. Mm-hmm. Pretty much better. She had like the fro up front too. Oh, it was dude. awesome. And she, you know, of course, our friend thought it was funny, so he stuck it in our bag without us knowing. Now we have the wig here. Now you brought it home. She wore it today. That's awesome. Dude, yeah. But she then then they changed her into Ariel, and then she had a red wig on. I'm like Jesus. I'm like fun. pretty woman. Jesus, mm-hmm. like she's. It was crazy, but I was I was dying because she looked legit. Looked like she had a rough night. Yeah. I'm pretty. Pretty sure Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman is not Ariel from Disney. Two very different characters. Well, just like different wigs. I, yeah, but she had the wigs. Wow. Yeah. I mean, why do you like just gotcha. ruin my momentum right there? I'm sorry. Oh, he, someone I think pants. the two of you need to, someone no, need to figure just, this someone, out. No, dude, he's just, someone he, peed my Cheerios. No, that or, you literally started everything off by talking about I know, his prostate I can't, exam. I did. So didn't happen. You know, we get, yeah. I don't know. Well, by the way, real witnesses. quick, I was actually, I got the go ahead to post the video of Mr. No God one agreed to that. You, I heard that. You, you said, agreed to it. Why do you like deny, it, dude? You're the worst. I like, said, I said I had to watch it first. Oh wait, we're good though. Yeah, we're gonna post He's, it. He leaves on Thursday to go yeah. to Portland. So I'll just keep reposting it. I'll just, I'll just keep reposting it. Yeah, I'll be annoying. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Am. I'm pretty sure that wife tells me every day. I'm pretty sure that there's a separate text message between the two of you that I don't get to see. <laughs> that is just sabotage <laughs> for me. That's not true. Actually, one time he did text me. He's like, "We got to bring this up." I'm pretty sure. I don't know which episode it was. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, more than you guys probably do the same. Which from the shitty avocado. It happens. <laughs> that's rough avocado. Rough, rough avocado. Okay. Rough avocado. Rough. Yeah. You're like just about to be rotten. <laughs> <laughs> but you're getting, you're almost, you're ripe and past ripe. It's like, okay, but you're still good to eat. Still Just good to eat. In some spots you got to cut a off. little brown. Yeah. in areas. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyway, speaking of divorces, between our friendship as this podcast moves on, uh, one of the topics we wrote down was Bill and Melinda Gates are getting divorced. Bro, if he's single, I'm in. <laughs> I do. I my wife. I'm out. How how much money is gonna? How much is he worth? A lot. Uh, so Jamie's looking it up right now. It's it I can't like, even. He's got like six billion or something like that. I can't even imagine how much money that is. Yeah, but it's all in a foundation. So yeah. his net worth is a hundred and twenty nine point three billion dollars. That's, uh, That's insane. Yeah. Fourth richest person behind Bezos, Elon Musk, and I don't know whoever else. Uh, right, so but yeah, one hundred and twenty nine point three billion. So that's one of those things. So they always say it's cheaper to keep her. Okay, that's I hear that at the firehouse all the time. Um, I mean, giving up a half of $129.3 billion okay dollars is a lot of money, but I'm okay with like we're, we're good. I'm, I'm right? okay You're probably still Listen, fine. I think okay, we're going to do okay. I'm okay with $20 million. Yeah. I, I don't really need a lot to live. Right. Give me a little shack. I'm good, dude. Like, I told my wife, we're looking at sheds, and there's a shed that was like mm-hmm. probably 800 square feet, not even, had two, had a loft. I looked at my wife, I'm like, Listen, if we ever divorce, I'm just going to big pile of land and just put this little thing in a bathroom in it, in a shower. You'd be set. I'm good. Yeah. Put it well, and I can, throw, I can throw huge ragers on the line. S- simple man. Yeah. yeah, put a garbage can out. Yeah. Oh, we're good. The so my thing, my question is, is so I agree with both of you. I wouldn't even be a, if it was that much money. Like He's you can't even make it back a, in like ten years it, anyway. Exactly, and you can't even be upset because in no way are you ever going to spend that much amount. Oh, that amount of money. They didn't marry for twenty-seven years, so you got paid month, yearly. Yeah, I was gonna say like. 
I can't imagine. They got married, what was it, 27 years, you said? Something it's not, like that. It's been, it's, it's it's been, been in the works time. for, it's like, I guess, a couple months. But the thing is, is I can't imagine when they got married however many years ago that they ever thought they would have that much money. Do they have a prenup? Do you know, Jamie? They did not. Um, yeah. what, they, uh, what they came up with uh, by the looks of things is some sort of a separation agreement. So they had already sat down and wrote down basically everything that they want the, the judges and attorneys to kind of follow uh, when it comes to divvying up all their assets. Yeah. So they had already figured most of that out, but um, no prenup agreement at all. But again, $129.3 billion. Yeah, that's insane. Going to be okay. So you're going to be... Pretty sure you, you get, how many people are in the United States right now? They live in the United States. Oh, I should know this. I did know this. Uh, I'll find out. I think it's like seven billion, but probably you can give everyone a million dollars. Here, here's the thing for you. So say that. Oh, think about that. You can give everyone a million sorry, dollars. Three hundred and twenty-eight million. Yeah. Oh, we can all get. Yeah. And, three and you would still have money left mm-hmm. over. So here's one for you. If you say you were in his Bill Gates' situation, what's the first thing you would buy? Prostitutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> High end ones. Dude, too, no, right? dude, yeah. I am. Yeah. Going out strong. <laughs> I don't like what is, what does Bill Gates not have? Well, you're not him. I'm just saying, what would be the first thing you would do if you had that amount of money? It would be if I had that kind like, of money. If that's what you got after the fact, I would get buy? a. I would get. I would buy a mega yacht, and I would just sail. Yeah. And just have my friends with me. Yeah. All paid for. Like, listen, I got you. I was thinking. I got just you, boo. floating around the world. I got you, boo. Yeah. I was thinking I'd, uh, more than likely, it would be like I'd find a very large house in New Zealand and just live there for a couple of months. Why New Zealand? Wait, 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 wait. Why New Zealand? That's there. my, that's my dream. Beautiful there. Yeah. Okay. That's my, that's times, my retirement. Like I uh, there and I was flying over. Dude, yeah. So uh, amazing. Yeah. Huh. That's, that's the retirement vacation for me. Good for you. All yeah. right. Speaking of super yachts, well, what about you? Oh, uh, I don't Actually know. Get a wife? Go, go golfing? Yeah. I do, oh, yeah, some crazy golf trip. Pay lessons. I'd buy. Yeah, how much is a how much is a membership, or what do I have to donate to Augusta National to become a member? That would be that would be like a self gift. I would have to find. It. I'm, I'm so, gonna look that up, but I think I, I don't a, think it works like that. I don't there. think so either. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I get away with that. But speaking of super yachts, because you said you would get a super yacht and just sail around. Uh, in the I wouldn't, or I would rent it because I'm cheap, so I probably just rent it because I want to yeah. like, deal with all the. Yeah, you're like I don't want it long term, but I want it for a long trip. Yeah. So uh, Tom Brady was in the news this week. He decided to get a new boat. He upgraded from his Super Bowl uh, boat parade boat, which was two million dollars, to a six million dollar boat. Good for him. So he pre-ordered it. Seventy-seven foot yacht. Jesus. <sighs> Are you okay, Jamie? I'm pretty it's sure like, you like just a, ruined like your be, microphone. I mean, it's huge. Like I feel like it'd be bigger, though, wouldn't it? Wait, did you? Did you? Seventy-seven just, feet. Did you just hear the noise Jamie made <laughs> into the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> is that, what, is that what that girl did when you did a buy shot of her? Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was too busy crying. Yeah, yeah Kyle. <laughs> He's choking on <laughs> He's a choking happy trail. Ah, oh, gross. Beautiful, beautiful boat. No, yeah, it is. Yeah, See, I, I like boats, but I always feel like there's always something wrong with them every year. There's there always is. a problem. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, I, I would get too, it's an expensive hobby. Yeah, but it's a great hobby. Like, my family has two boats. Love it. Yeah. But I just, yeah, I'm never going to. I'll use someone else's. The, there you go. the best part is you say, like, we're like, oh, he upgraded to a $6 million boat. The other one was two. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. a bad yeah. boat to be used to. <laughs> yeah, just stupid terrible. boat. And so these, I, are, these are the kind of boats where you, uh, you know, you pay the $6 million up front, but then you have a crew. Like, you got to yeah, yeah, pay yeah. people to, yeah. to run yeah. it and take and, care of it. And that's the thing. Like, a boat, like, that size, you're not going to be the one driving it. No. Yeah. You're going to have yeah. you're gonna have a captain that's going to drive the boat. So you're just basically, like you just said, you're better off renting for a trip and hey. being like, take me around, and then I'm out, and I don't have to worry about the I mean, long term. It's like, what, for four or five days, it's like 100 grand, not counting tip. I mean. Yeah. That's a, right? that's a big boat. Yeah. She's pretty. There's the, um, the one lady from the gym. I've seen her in that one uh, below deck. Mm-hmm. I saw her twice on that show. Oh, seriously? Yeah. From the gym? Yeah. No shit. I what's her name? Wow. She trained there. Like, she used to be like an instructor, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm, you know, we watching. I'm like, why do I know her? And it was her. It's crazy. It must be nice. I wish I could do that. Did you, um, have you ever been on like a cruise or anything like that? I, that's one thing I want to do. Really? I want to go on a cruise, yeah. I want to go on a, I know, like a singles or a swingers one or something like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Get after it a little bit. You know? Ryan going somewhere else. <laughs> let's <laughs> So, you know, yeah. I, said, I, mean, I told her I wanted to go on one. And actually, we talked about doing a Disney one because I guess it's really awesome. They talk about like it's really like up close, more close, and personal. I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. Would you take Mila? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Disney. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're a big kids. Disney person. There's adults who go to Disney by themselves. 
No, I definitely. I wouldn't. But my daughter was not like we took her when we took her that what last year, maybe for quarantine for the first time. Yeah. She of course got sick and like we took her and she's just like, Yeah, I'm over it. Like she had fun, but like you know, she had a good time, but like but she yeah, Animal Kingdom was she she liked it for like an hour and then she got I was like, I'm over it and yeah. took a nap. I was like, Do you know how much I paid for this trip? You know, I was so pissed. Yeah. But what are you gonna do, you know? The uh we went on a cruise, I think like my senior year of high school, me and like everyone in my family went there, there was probably like forty of us. Yeah. Did you get to drink? Uh, yeah, because we I was 18, and we were out of the country, technically. Oh. So, yeah. International waters. Yeah, oh. I was able to, yeah. So, but we were... Uh, Do you guys dick like Kobayashi? We were in... <laughs> what? <laughs> we, um... Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We, we were in uh, Jamaica, and my cousin, I remember, my, in my senior year, I grew my down hair. By the beach. I grew my Boy. hair out. It was, like, down in my chin. Mm-hmm. I, like, curly. It froze out if I... It gets long and curls up. But if you pull it straight, it went down to my chin. So my cousin goes, we were at uh, Mar- get we were Margarita. No, we were at Margaritaville in Montego Bay in Jamaica. And oh, he goes, yes. he goes, uh, he goes, if you let this Jamaican lady braid your hair, yeah. he goes, I got your drinks for the rest of the day. And I was like, done so i had like beads and i had all this crazy he was like what put kind some of beads just yellow beads oh, okay. no get out of here i'm saying i know you're, t- you're, so you're a cup of tea my the, friend. uh so he goes um uh he's like he's sitting there and he's like yeah put some of those in his hair and do some i had like all this shit in my hair i was like <laughs> I like i don't even care i would i would get i would buy extensions just to do that oh it, i best decision i could have made 100%. i was drinking like rum slushy thingies all day like fantastic delicious Dude, that's so. awesome yeah i mean yeah, and the closest I ever came to that was like, well, I went to where our honeymoon went to Cabo, which was absolutely stunning and amazing. Like, but the problem was that we went there, like, <clears throat> the resort we were at was amazing, but it was a half newlyweds, half swingers. And oh, I'm not, and I'm not joking. No shit. I, I didn't talk about this? No. Oh, this is great. No. So we go down there, we meet two couples that just got married on New Year's Eve, you know, a big New Year's Eve thing. And so we're, we're hanging out with them and we're just running out, just being savages. and it was great. Also, there was someone sitting around, one of the workers sitting there, and he looks at me. He's like, "Champ," this is when I right when I won the title. I'm like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" He's like, "What's up, yo?" I'm like, "What's up, man?" So we're sitting around, dude. I was again treated like real. It was great. It was, but I mean, I was tipping him like, like I was trying to give him twenty dollars, but then it turned into like three hundred dollars. I just kept tipping him because I, right, you know, I'm very giving. You know, I'm seriously, I'm drunk. But anyway, so like the second or third day, day, I'm floating around in the water. I'm hammered. It's like ten in the morning. I'm just smashed, ready at ten in the morning. Floating the pool, my wife's sitting on the edge of the pool, and like I'm pretty keen on what's going on around me. I'm watching everything, but I'm just I'm hammered. I'm looking around. Also, I'm like, why can't I just put my finger on it? There's something about this place. <laughs> also, my wife's like, there's a bunch of swings here. I'm like, knew it, knew it. <laughs> so then, so then, we're, dude, it gets even better. So then, my one, the one guys we were hanging out with, one couple we were hanging out with, we're on the first floor. We had a, we had like a nice like suite on the first floor. They're on the third floor, like for the, another section of the hotel or the resort, and. uh He's sitting there at like two in the morning, smoking a cigarette. And he looks down. Every, every every suite or whatever room has a little hot tub. He looks down. There's like four people, butt ass naked. Just going at no, it. No, 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 butt ass naked. Right. He so says this big dude gets up, butt ass naked. He's like, "Huh, you gonna get in? The water's getting cold." Like, and they're just about to go to Pound Town, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. And, 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 then, then, and then and then and then I'm sitting there the next day, whatever it was. I'm sitting there looking, and there's these. Old dudes, like dude, they had to be like seventy. I swear to God, they were they were just wrinkled and just old. And I'm looking behind them, and there's like these just like tens walking behind. Them. I'm like, what? No, I'll ask of course, no question. Mm-hmm. So then, like the one of the, so the second last night, where they would go to the club, we go downtown, and they're like, hey, dude, do you want a table? I'm like, well, how much is a table? Like, I'm not gonna spend. You know, golf amounts of money. They just buy a bottle. And I look at them, I'm like, well, how much are bottles? They give me like the little brochure of bottles. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, give me two bottles. It was like 120 bucks. Dirt cheap. I'm like, sold. Because like drinks there were like regular drinks here. You know, yeah. Like 10 bucks, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. let's do it. So I'm sitting there. We have a little table. It was a great time. And below us, there's this massive like, area of a table. And next to this dude starts, this old dude starts fist pumping at me, like, yeah, point at me. I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I was like, do you know my like, babe? We're in Cabo. Who the fuck do I know? And I look, and all of a sudden she's like, oh my God, it's the old guys with the escorts. Yeah. Like, oh, jeez. Oh. So we look down, I kid you not, every, all the old dudes are on one end of the fucking table. And it's like a, it's like a big, huge area. And the other end is the escorts, nothing to do with them. I was like, oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then, till later. Yeah, <laughs> and then, this was your downtown. this was your honeymoon. Yeah, nice. Well, then Quite one the night we went. We had a we had a we had a one night we went. There was like a campfire because they they stopped like serving drinks around like eight ish seven like outside. So we're sitting there, and uh, by, by, cause by that point you're you're hammered because everything's free, you know. And so it's like seven ish whatever where the where the campfire is getting a little dark, and all of a sudden. Uh, we see a lady walking with a dude, and they're kind of like, getting, you know, canoodling, like, you know, whatever. I'm like, well, that's good for them, you know, honeymoon. So we'll get a drink, I come back, and the chick's with another dude, and she's like, I'm like, holy shit, like, this is, this is legit, dude. Like, it's just about to get real. I'm like, can we find out what room they're at, babe? And she's like, shut up. <laughs> we had, Jamie, ever have any uh, interesting trips like that? Uh, my, uh, well, you, well, didn't you say you used to work in Key West? Yeah. Yeah. I worked. I'm sure you saw the, some fun stuff yeah, down the there. Key, yeah. The keys were awesome. Yeah. So we're, uh, I have a, uh, the very, keys, the keys, the keys were awesome. Who does he yeah. think he is? Dude, look at him, dude. I was working, but yeah. So I was in working Key West. Body. I, I did a terrible job. Um, that's how the avocado became less ripe. <laughs> <laughs> the son's a bitch. I have a buddy getting married in uh, Key West the beginning of June and I'm going to miss it because of my daughter. Graduation, but uh, kindle all those fires, bro. Dude, they're going down, and it's he just found out like a week ago. It is during um, the Key West Pride Parade. It's, oh. it's a huge. Like I was there. This was many, many, many yeah. years ago. I was working the weekend that that happened. It is the biggest party I've ever seen in my entire life. It. It's insanity, and his wedding is happening right in the middle of it. That's great. So f- it's it's That's awesome, fantastic. Yeah, That'd be sweet. Um, but we did Cabo as well for our honeymoon. Oh um, no shit! Yeah, different resort. There were no swingers that I was aware of. Um, beautiful. Like, can't wait to go back someday. But yeah, um, like no joke. I was there, inclusive. and like I think the first five days I was there, I think I saw three clouds. Like I'm not joking. I, th- I legit saw three clouds. For a second, I thought you said clowns. And I was That's like, you. why were there clowns? But you said clouds. See, I can't talk because I had like, like 10 packs of cigarettes a day. Right. Um, yeah, so we, yeah, like four restaurants, the infinity pool, a bunch of, we did like uh, horseback riding, zip no, lining. Um, yeah, yeah so the that. zip lining, I was a little like, I didn't that, in like, Mexico. God forbid, my luck was something would happen and yeah. I'd be like, yeah. Uh, the happiest I've ever seen my wife in my entire life. We rented jet skis in the ocean one day, and I've never seen her before or after. Like, it was the happiest she's ever been in her entire yeah, life. That's when that's yeah. couple went to. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's talk about that. What? Oh. So, the one night, remember I told you went to the club? Yes. So, we went to dinner. There's, like, this place. It's called The Office. It's the restaurant on the, on the beach. It was amazing. Beautiful. Only thing that sucked was people legit walk up to you and try to sell you shit. And I'm like, bro, I'm trying to eat dinner. Whatever. It, I get it. It just sucked because you try to enjoy yourself, but yeah. I think I bought like forty five things, so I felt really bad. But anyway, <clears throat> so we started walking around the city before we go to the club, and all of a sudden there's this club that says it's called Splash. And I'm like, hmm. walk over. I'm like, yo, man, what is this? He's like, it's a street club. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. All right, let's walk away. All of a sudden the girls are like, oh, check it out. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I'm down. So we walk in, and uh, it's the smallest strip, like. The strip club? The strip club, no, not even the strip club, like the, 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 the walk, whatever you want to talk about, the little stage they have is the tiniest thing on earth. So the first girl walks up, and she's dancing, and this like Russian girl, or whatever, foreign girl, and she is not even dancing, she's just grinding her back against the wall. Like, she's like, gone. All right? It's and like, I'm, she fits like in between the pole and the wall, and like, yeah, that's the she's only just, place. Like, she's like, she's just, just moving, moving back and, and forth. I'm looking at her, and I'm like, huh, Interesting. So I'm like, yeah, she ain't no money. So the next girl walks out. I'm like, whoa, okay, we got some work in here. You know, I'm always like, that's a dude. I'm like, okay. So whatever. The other thing, third girl walks out. She, nothing about her is good. Like, she's just, but she is giving it her all. Like, she is like, all, she has no boobs, no butt, no nothing. She, but she's dancing like her, like her life depended on it. And, Stipe, Daddy Stipe came in and just showered her with singles. Okay. I made her, I made her Took day. Took care of it. I told my wife, I'm like, this girl deserves it all because okay. she is a winner. There you go. She went for it all. She so anyway, her heart she did, she did, Listen, I was like, I was like sweating watching her <laughs> dance because I was like, Jesus, she's getting after it. She was going, she was going crazy. But anyway, so I go to the bathroom and I'm walking out and this big dude walks by me and he's sweating and breathing heavy. I'm like, I started like looking around. I'm like, oh, Time to go. This is not a strip club. This is a brothel. <laughs> I 
every door was shut, and like there's a kid guy, and I'm like, time to go. And they're like, what's going on? I'm like, we gotta go now. You were at a whorehouse. Pretty much. I yeah. was like, you guys go, I'm gonna check, make sure everything's safe. Okay, make sure everything's <laughs> good amazing. here, guys. No, but it was it was pretty intense. You guys really went in, you guys did the full Cabo experience. It was, it was pretty man. cool, yeah. yeah. We, and then we went to this like badass <clears throat> was it feel the plate um restaurant. It was called Floral Farms, right? Okay. So, tell us about it. So we're, we're, we're driving to get there. Dude, we're going through, like, we're driving down this road. Also, we're trying to, like, just, like, gravel road. Mm-hmm. There's, like, two burnt houses. <laughs> like, it just looked like shit. I'm like, I looked at my wife. I'm like, hey, I love you. If we don't make it, I love you. Like, that's how, I, was like I was like, this is kind of sketchy. Yeah. Next thing we go to this, this, this Floral Farms pops up, bro. And I'm like, that it? That's it. Dude, it is so beautiful. And they have like a brewery, like a bourbon yeah. area. It was amazing. It was so good. It was so good. And I was like, God damn, what a great place. Yeah. They had dogs running around. You is that, dog. Is that it behind you, Jamie, That's on the it. screen? Yeah. It was so yeah. good. But it was, uh, it was my kind of, it was, it was, I want to go back. It was off the beaten path, you, though. You wouldn't uh, think that's right past the burnt down houses. No. Bro, it was crazy. Dude. Yeah. When we did the, um, the zip lining, I was very sketched out on it. And it was the same thing. We were driving like, down dirt roads, all those areas. I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, like, we're, we're going to get we're, killed. We're dead. We're dead, yeah. Yeah, we had fun. But what about you, John? Like, you're, I mean, let's, let's so since we're talking about weekend, travel, bro. so you got a big uh, yeah. couple of months coming. I want to go, I want to go back to the, I want to go back. KY and condoms coming this way. <laughs> Jesus. I want <laughs> I want to. I want to go back to the Mexico trip. So when I was in college, uh, me and a couple of my buddies went down to Cancun for spring break, and uh, one of the guys that was Did with you have us. Sex down there, Billy's? Uh, no. Mm, weird. No. But uh, interesting. We uh, got real quiet. That's all right. Hey. I will say this. One of my buddies did try to go back to a hotel with this girl, and he offered that. So they were real strict on security. You had wristbands for, like, whatever hotel yeah. you were staying in, and you, they, won't, they won't let you go into a hotel that, like, you don't have the wristband for because there's kids all down there that are all staying at Just those hotels. Just all over the place, yeah. Yeah, and so um, he remember he went back with a girl, and he tried to offer the security guard, like, 20 pesos, which is, like, $2. Yeah. And they were like, absolutely not. And then they arrested him. And then oh, his Jesus. buddies – And then his buddies – like that he some friend that he knew down there that happened to be with him because precursor to that story he got kicked out of coco bongo which is a club down there and so his one friend got kicked out with him so they were like deserted on the side of the road with this one random girl he was going to go back with her he ends up getting arrested so then his friend's family had to like wire money to get him out of a mexican you don't want to go to mexican prison man. so anyway um a great story about mexican prison so i'm i'm curious to hear this one after the fact the uh so my we go down there one of my buddies he went down there when he was 18 so we're like oh this is great we got we're going with somebody he's been there before kind of knows like he's familiar with it and it was like two years prior so he kind of knows we get out of the airport take the bus to our hotel and we had one of those like spring break trip things where they basically plan everything after you have like a ticket for like right. this is your day drinking thing this is your nighttime oh, awesome. club thing like, yeah badass. like they you charter your flight down and then everything's like lined up for you so that's you know great. what club you're going to and everything you got like a whole like it looks like a uh like a set of tickets yeah. and you just like rip them off and you're like this is today so, so he um we get down there we hop off the we hop off. We he immediately buys a handle of tequila at the airport, which we take back to the hotel. And then we're getting ready, getting ready to go out. First night, we're going to a club, whatever. And um, we leave the hotel. And this, mind you, this is a guy that's been there before. He's been to Cancun before. He's like, "All right, guys, let's go." And then we find out after the fact, he starts jogging the wrong way, like away from where like the clubs are supposed to be. Like he's going, and it's like one road that runs through Cancun. Like, so he starts going the wrong way. We find this out after the fact that like he was originally going the wrong way. And then he's like, Ooh, look, a lighted sidewalk and goes to run on it. It was a lazy river, like right in front of this hotel. He just face plants right in this, like <laughs> fucking shit. face plants right in this fucking river. Wow. And he's just completely soaked. He's like, Oh, you gotta learn. And then we turn around, we get in the bus, and then we go. He goes down to the club, like fucking so half wet. soaking wet. That's he's a like, dude, yeah, That's fucking. a savage. So, anyway, I wanna meet him. Fast forward to uh, the Coco Bongo story. So um, if you've ever been to that bar in Cancun, it's got the big open dance floor. And then each, it kind of like opens up and it tears up. So there's different layers. Mm -hmm. And so you go there. The trick is, is you give whoever your server is like 40 bucks. And then they just keep taking care of you the whole night because that's a shit. That's a lot of money for them. And so um, 
were like, all right, here's 40 bucks. Give us like, bring us a whole tray of like drinks. So they're bringing us like screwdrivers and everything else. So we're having <laughs> crazy. We're having a great time. We're having a, gr- I don't know why we're drinking those, but anyway, <laughs> you guys are so men. we have, yeah, I like a little juice with my alcohol. <laughs> the, uh, so anyway, we, um, we're having a good time, whatever. Uh, the one kid gets kicked out and then the other one. So we're on this tier thing and he's standing there and he's like leaning over the railing and he's got his drink and he's sloshing it all over the people beneath him. I love it. So they complain, he gets kicked out. Mm-hmm. And then my other friend, I can't remember what he did, but he ends up getting booted too. And like, he's like grabbing my hand as like, he's getting like pulled away. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm sitting there ready. thinking to myself, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm not ready to leave yet. Just so leave I just alone. like pulled my hand back and he gets to score it away. Guy. So then I was the only, but I was by myself in yeah. the thing. So I was like, all right, fine. So then. That's when you become a man, you meet a girl and you so go fucking take care of business. The, well, the night didn't go that way. It actually went more poorly for me. So I end up staying for a little bit longer. Club ends. I know how to get back. So I leave. There's, you can either get like authentic Mexican burritos or Domino's. Those were like the two <laughs> options on the walkway. Uh, like to the thing. I got Domino's. Yeah. So then I'm walking back because the bus has, isn't coming and I didn't want to get a taxi. So I'm walking back. Some kid runs up and like I'm walking by myself eating a piece of pizza. Tell me he took it. No, he swatted it out of my <laughs> hands. <and it's laughs> was it, was, was it a random like random college kid? No, it's some random like little <laughs> Mexican, Mexican kid, kid that lived there. I want to meet that kid too. I was like, I you gotta him. be fucking kidding I me. Love him. And I, I love seriously, him. and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, oh, you gotta be fucking. I had the most like distraught, like sad look on my face, like defeated, the most defeated look. Down. I just like was staring at the box, like smashed on the floor <laughs> or on the ground on the sidewalk. And I was like, still. What a waste. Did it flip over? Like so, on top, like the, oh, it was all on the ground. Uh, the whole box. Like I had the box like, kind of like my like half open and swatted, whatever. And I then finally, fought, then I just. I would have no, fought that kid. No then joke. I just, I, just no I gave up and I was like, taxi. And I just spent like $40 on a taxi to go I, home because I was I, like, I just need to get back to the hotel. I would give anything to have seen your face when that kid knocked that pizza out I of your was so defeated. Hand. And it was not a short walk. I think I was like two miles away from like where I needed to go. Without pizza. Without no pizza. pizza. No pizza, no yeah. burritos. Well, I got to talk about Lazy River. So uh, when I went on my honeymoon, we had, we got the, my wife. It's like, what do you want to get? Do you want to get a regular room? I'm like, no, I want the biggest room they got. Oh, I remember. And then had the Lazy River yeah, running Lazy by. River. It was yeah. sweet, dude. So anyway, funny story. Rewind it out. So we get there. And, like, the people that work there, like, they'll take care if you need something. So, like, the guys, were, the couple we met, one of the couples we met, the guy was like, hey, dude, you know, can I get some weed? And they're like, yeah, I got you, amigo. And so... The dude, the, the worker saw me with him. And so I guess the guy was like, hey, dude, I got, you know, like early in the day he saw me. So he goes to the guy's room and he's like, hey, I got some weed. He's like, hey, I got some, you know, coke. Guy's like, fuck it, throw me in, you know, so whatever. Well, then they got, in that guy's mind, though, he thinks that's probably for me. Oh. This dude would call my room every two hours. Yo, champ, 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 you need anything, champ? I'm like, no, dude, I'm, I just want some coffee, bro. Like, can you give me a pot of coffee? I still don't want a pot of coffee. Like, just yeah. coffee, please. No, no, okay, okay. Did you need anything? Let me know. I'm like, yeah, for sure. Two hours later, hey, yo, champ, you need anything? I'm like, no, dude, stop calling my room. I was getting so mad. But anyway, so that, uh, I love that dude, by the way. He's the funniest dude ever. Anyway. Yeah. So, if, talk about the Lazy River. So, next door to us, uh, the one that we had a bigger hot tub, so I wanted to check it out. So, I turned it on. And I'm like sitting there, and mind you, for like four days, no one's been there. I'm sitting there all of a sudden, I'm like this. I'm like, yeah, it's not that bad. I'm like, yeah, oh, it sucks the plug's broken. I need a plug. I look behind me, and there's two people staring at me through the door. <laughs> I'm like walking out of the suite. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, I just, you know, me being me, I'm like, hey, just let you guys know that your plug's broke. You need a plug in here. It's not going to work. <laughs> I got up and walked away. I flew down the river back to my place. <laughs> I grabbed two little Coronas. I flew back. Uh, Cornitas, they're called at the time. Yeah. I, fl- I flew back out of the room. I knocked on the door. I open the door. I just put my head down like this. And like, sorry. I'm so sorry. They were, they loved it. They were, like, awesome. It was great. But then, um, so now I was talking about. You said something about Mexican, Mexican prison. Yeah. yeah. So I have a friend. I can't say their name, but they were younger. They were like 18-ish, whatever. And they went to Tijuana. Ooh. Having a good time. Went to a bar. All the girls like, ooh, 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 you know, all over them, and they leave, and they realize that they got scammed. Okay. They lost taken, so they go in there, and they, they cause a ruckus. They get arrested. So for four days, they would get taken out to a hill, gunpoint, and say, give me money. And, like, we don't have any money for four days. 
So finally, last day, they're in their underwear, and like, this is it, dude. Like, you know, whatever. That's fucking terrifying. But no, no, wait, wait, wait. And then they, they like, give some money, and they just sat there for a while, and they finally got untinged, like un- untangled, whatever, un- unroped, and they realized that they left, they left them there. Like, but like for four days, they do it. They, would, they put them on a the hill. That is fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. Don't go to Mexican prison, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I rather go to Mexican prison. That was like. I get yelled at my wife. I rather go there than get yelled at my wife. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the being in the doghouse with your wife might not be as bad as Mexican mm-hmm. prison. No, 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 no. That was like rule number one when we went. It was like no one get arrested. And then the, it was and funny then because. Everybody got arrested. The funny part is, is he was probably the most, like, he, he wouldn't have been the person I picked. <laughs> like, he's like the smartest kid out of all everyone. Yeah, he was like, like the most show. quiet, like calm. Person. He'll figure a way to get out of it. Like we want you to get out of it, but not him. Like you know what I mean? He'd be like, "No, let's, let's figure this out." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I wouldn't have expected him to be the one that yeah. he got in trouble. But what? Uh, you know. Hey, guess what? To each his own. You ever go to jail? You ever get arrested? I have. Did you? I did. What'd you get arrested for? Underage consumption. Underage consumption. That's what. It that's was, what gets uh, most was, of them. It was Halloween. So, great story. So, we were down at Kent State University. Following weekend, I was getting Liddy City. The guy I drove down with, uh, one of the guys I drove down with, he, he was like, hey, so we parted on her. She's like, hey, I'm going to leave. I'm like, fuck, I'll go back too. I don't, I don't feel like staying in this house. Like, I'll just go back with you. Screw it, it's an hour away. I'm like, you good to drive? He's like, yeah, dude, I've been drinking like four hours. I'm like, cool, awesome. So, we, so we're driving. I pass out. You know, awesome. He's like, hey, Steve, we got pulled over. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like this, and my mom business, awesome. He's like, you been drinking? He's like, no. I'm like, is this fucking dude for real right now? Like, he just just went from being perfectly fine to being an idiot. Doctor's like, I'm right, doctor. I'm fucking so pissed right now. I'm so mad. I'm thinking about it now, I'm getting more mad. The police officer's like, hey, blow into this. He's like, do your ABCs and blow, you know. So he's like, A, B, C, D, E, F, T, Z. I'm like, oh. I look, and there's a guy behind us. I look behind him. I'm like, yep, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we we got arrested. And so we did the breathalyzer. I I, I blew higher than he. You know, he blew higher than me. Mm-hmm. I mean, so he stopped drinking like four or five hours. Well, that's a complete lie. So then, uh, we're 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 in the police station getting like a, like another one to get like as yeah. finalized. You know, the whatever. official official. Mm-hmm. So he's like, so I blow, my, you know, do my thing and I get my underage and. Austin, he does it, and he's like, <laughs> and he can't do it. I'm like, bro, blow into the damn breathalyzer. It's not hard. Like, it's not hard. Mm-hmm. You do what? Do it. I, the, the police officer's like, listen, dude, if you can't do it, like, you're going to be in hell in content. Like, like you're going to get in trouble, more, more trouble, like, for not doing it. Right. I'm like, I'm like, bro, just blow. I was yelling at him, dude. And, like, he finally did. Oh, my, it was so bad. And then, of course, me being me, and we go back to the house we were at because we got they would they wouldn't get the tax or anything. We had to get our own tax, whatever, our own, our own fault. I walk in, I'm like, yeah, underage consumption. What's up, bitches? You know, and I mean, I felt bad for the other kid, but that was his own fault. Like, I wouldn't have went home with him if he told me. I mean, like, right. I felt like I trusted him. You thought you were safe. Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm, I listen, you know what's funny is that. When, before Uber came, I was that guy. I would I would set up taxi taxis all the time for myself. Right. If I was too drunk, I knew that I'd be like at a wedding or something. I would I would set it up Nature, like hey, yeah, at this time. Yep. My wife's like, "You actually were really good." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Listen, listen." I'm, I'm when I was young, I, I fucked up a couple mm-hmm. times. Like, I never got a DUI, but I, I, mean, I should have. Yeah, mm-hmm. could have, and I shouldn't have been stupid about it. But uh, yeah, I just uh, ever since like I had one incident like where I was like never did never do that again. I'm always like yep. being smart about it. But like yeah, it was. <sighs> The only, only time, the only time we get arrested, I think so. John, I've never been, I've never been arrested. I've gotten in trouble though for same thing, underage. Okay. The uh, I, it was uh, the summer in between my senior year and my freshman year of college. Speaking of, we talked about this uh, on one of the other podcasts, but the beach club downtown. Oh, bro. So me and a, one of my buddies, we were sitting in the car in his car having uh, a beer before he went into the beach club. And this girl like comes driving by in her car and kind of looks my way. And I was like, Oh, the girl's kind of looking my way. Da, da, da. And then no, Why? Hey, it might, it might be. So she ends up making another pass. I'm like, Oh man, that, that's the second time that girl drove by. And then she comes walking over the car. I'm like, Oh, maybe she's like coming to like say hi. And maybe wants to hang out <laughs> for like a beer or whatever. Underage cop. Underage, yeah. under, under, underage cop. Undercover. Yeah. Undercover, undercover female cop. Female cop. <laughs> Got she, me. She didn't want you. Nope. 
She just wanted she to wanted arrest you. She wanted to arrest me. Yeah. It happens. So. Listen, listen. It happens the best but of us. Yeah. I didn't get arrested, though. It was just weird. a ticket. No, yeah, it was really weird. I'm like, I'm still... Again, they this probably is like third one they probably walk around and just make money on the weekends. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I was like, it was weird because like she wrote me a ticket and was like, "This is your court date and this is what you have to do." And mm-hmm. da da da. And then she was like, "Okay, bye." <laughs> I was like, "This is so weird." Yeah, yeah. it's kind know, of a weird, stuff. weird so dynamic. I, talking about that, so like they have like programs you can do a class, like you know what to knock down. It's your, like a first offenders program. Yeah. yeah. And so the guy's talking to me. He's like, so how many beers did you drink? You know, I'm like, oh, like a case. And the guy's like, what? I'm like, in like a week? Like, <laughs> you know, I played it off. Like, I was like, yeah, in like a week. And, you know, my buddy's like, you're a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> you know, the guy got read, one of the guys got underage with me. Yeah. He's like, he's got, I have no idea how you saved yourself. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, like in a week. Like, I'm like, yeah. a night, come on. Yeah. Who does that? Come on. You're like, you're it's like elbow, elbow in the yeah. Yeah. yeah, Come on. Plenty of people in that program. Do a case in the night. So. Oh yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it was uh, yeah it was uh, at times you know like and it's the only time I really like put myself in that bad position I guess you would say. Yeah. Or you should try not to. Good. Yeah, it's mean. I guess it's I'm fine. actually kind of surprised somebody else didn't get arrested in college. I don't know why. I don't hey? know why. Yeah, I don't uh, know why I'm I'm surprised. I've been I don't know. That Ohio University Halloween is no joke. Oh, we used to have, just have people over. It was, okay. yeah, we would never like stay in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, well, I lived right on Court Street. So, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. So staying, staying in was in still was like, you the, were in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. So, but I don't know. Actually, there's like a funny, st- I don't know what the numbers are, but there's Where a did funny. Did you graduate 2002? No, 2007. Jesus. From college, right? No, no. High school. Oh, oh, three. Okay. So, no, the, uh, I was going to say, there's like a statistic about Ohio University Halloween where there's more pe- the pe- like percentage of people that are arrested are actually ones that don't go to that makes sense. OU. Yeah. It's like people visiting that get a little bit too crazy. Yeah, it gets nuts. Yeah, uh, I've been there. I mean, like I told you, I went there before. Like, yeah. I went to that one party where the girl I was dating, and they're like, yeah, you can't come in. I'm like, yeah, she's not going in. <laughs> they do. Um, so I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. But I get it. So like if you're a freshman at OU, I don't know how they do it anymore because it's been forever since I went there, but the... Uh, um, if you're a freshman and you live in the dorms, you have you're only allowed like one designated guest per person, and you like have to give your RA their name and everything. So they're and they get like a wristband, so they're allowed to like get into the dorm. Yeah. You guys can't drink in your dorm, right? Uh, no. I'm saying like like yeah, be like you can like you just can't be caught. Correct. Yeah, you got to sneak it in. Yeah, so I went to a college, and so like a lot of colleges, you can't drink on you know, dorms. Mm-hmm. And so the one college I went to, I'm like, hey, oh, dude, can we drink? <laughs> walking over the case like yeah <laughs> i was like i love you there you go <laughs> it was great no we had um i i would say probably one of my crazier uh, stories so like homecoming at ou is more fun for ou students than halloween is okay so we had and the funny thing is is like the guys who just come out like that just graduate they um like they just take out their first big boy job and so they got some money and everything else and then they come back for like that first year and then mind you like at any college campus beers are like a dollar fifty right because yeah, I, mean, I don't know how, I don't know how that economy works like on a college campus with beer because it's just like yeah buck fifty like we know your budget sucks so right right we need yeah. you know whatever yeah. <laughs> so anyway but uh, here's the toilet water good so luck with that one guy comes back he got a job doing whatever he's like we're going out like and. The way OU works is the bars close at like two thirty in the morning, and then on homecoming they open at five thirty in the morning on Saturday. So you got you got to kill three hours. So people do kegs and eggs in between. Smart. So you just stay up the whole night. So anyway, as you should. I only did that one time when I was at OU where I stayed up straight through the night, and that was this. And that's your first that, patch that, of chest that, hair. That, that was it's yeah. <laughs> so we stayed up, did kegs and eggs, went back to the bar, we're hanging out. One guy who came back was like, "We're going to breakfast." Da da da. And so we like, just had cake and eggs. He, he and took eggs, he took like twenty people. And like picked up the whole tab. Now the place we went to had forty ounce Long Island iced teas. Jeez. And so me and one of my what other buddies fuck? were like, "Let's hurricane the drink." So you like you chug a bunch, Ooh. pass it, chug a bunch, whatever. Anyway, at some point in this breakfast, I stood up, looked at my friend, and I said, "The tricycles ride tricycles." And I walked out of the bar. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Good. I don't know what it means. <laughs> still I still don't know. It. Still this day, I don't know. That was about. Is it, is it a Cancun? Like thing? I have no idea. Oh. So that was that was at like 10 a.m. Oh, my God. No one saw me again until 11 <laughs> p.m. at night. And this was when cell phones used to have the limit on the number of voicemails you could like have. And it would say the voicemail box you're trying to reach is full. <laughs> I thought you were dead. My roommate was like, like, so I end up. I end up waking up in this random bedroom 
like at this house and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look out the window and I kind of like got my bearings where I was and don't have any shoes on. Don't know where my cell phone is. Like, I'm like, I don't know. What. Holy like, shit. So I'm like, I'm like, I'll figure it out tomorrow. So I went down the steps and went out the side door and there were like people in the kitchen and I'm like, I'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> and I just went out the side door and I walked back to the fraternity house and I like knew where the house was. Cause I get like, once I got outside, I'm like, okay, this is this and da da da. All right. I got it. Went back into the, to the fraternity house, opened the door, walk in and my roommate had happened to be like in the main room and he's like holy shit like where the hell have you been blah 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 so dude then the next day i have to figure out like i have to go to this house and like knock on the door and like be like do you have my cell phone can oh. i have my shoes like <laughs> oh it was so bad God. now he, i found out what happened so tricycles ride tricycles <laughs> walk out of the bar i'm walking down court street i run into this girl i know and she's like oh we're having people over come over and i'm like okay no Send, shoes on. Sends me the address. No, no, no. I had all my shit. Uh. I walked to their house. I got there before they did. In my impatience, I just fell asleep on the couch on their porch because I was like, because everyone I was, kept. and I hadn't gone to sleep. Yeah. And so uh, she goes, like, I guess they got back there. I was sleeping on the couch on the porch. She's like, ah, I'll leave him. He'll be fine. Da da da. And so they went into the house and they were hanging out, whatever. 20 minutes later, they hear a loud thud. <laughs> I fell off the couch onto the porch. And so they're like, they're like, Oh geez, da, da, whatever. And apparently I got up and then ran upstairs and like locked myself in one of the rooms and like barricaded the door <laughs> shut and fell back out. asleep. And then they're like, uh, they're like he, he's not opening the door. He's asleep again. Just leave him. So then they're like 20 minutes later, we hear like a door slam. And then somebody runs up the stairs again. I ran all the way up to the third floor of this house. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> what do you and Rapunzel? So my shoe, you Rapunzel? My, yeah, I know. So my cell phone is like under the couch on the front porch. My shoes are in the room on the second floor. Oh my God. And I slept in the third floor bedroom. And then you went. And it turns out I knew, I knew the people who lived in that house, though. Sure, so, so it, it I mean, was less God. embarrassing yeah. when I had to go get all my the stuff. Tricycles ride so, tricycles. Anyways, but that yeah. needs to be another T-shirt for the podcast. That was yeah. that was probably the roughest of my OU experiences. Yeah. So. That's a good experience. Though. Yeah, it's a great experience. Yeah. 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 That was rough. The next, needless to say, the next homecoming, I was like, "All right, I'm going to bed. Bye." Yeah. <laughs> Learned it, my lesson. I'm going to I'm going early. Uh, 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 Early were special. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, what? so rough. When's the last time you were on campus? Oh, I haven't. Been, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, life. I haven't been there in years. Yeah. It's been a really long time. And I wouldn't even go. I mean, like, would you ever go back to any of your schools, like, while they were in school? I would go in the summer when there's, like, nobody there. I mean, I went to Cleveland State. Yeah. But uh, I went to two other schools. I went to Coker, which is, like, n- Nothing. It's there's, a, right. There's no it's one like there. A building. It's a building. It's a small school. I mean, it's great, great people. It's fun. But then I went to Trevecca, and now that's a religious school. Yeah. <laughs> so, like they do kind like of different. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So we're, dude. So like it was crazy going there. Like I loved it. Dude. It was like great, great. The team baseball wise, like everything was great. Mm-hmm. Everyone thought I was a dickhead because I just have like that resting bitch face. You do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So but anyway. So, like, I lived in the dorms, and then I got an apartment, and I was trying to move out to the apartments, and they denied me, so I had to pay for both. My, my mom was not happy about that, but whatever. It is what it is. So, if you want to, like, just say, like, you know, you wanted a girl in your dorm, you you had to tell your RA that you had a girl in your room, but it was from Sunday from, like, 5 to 7. Oh, yeah, she was, she was messed up, bro. That's weird. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, so messed up. Just uh, so I do that, and then like, but the best thing about Nashville, dude. So we would go uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday from seven to eleven. There's bar, bar. I hope it's still around. I haven't checked on around. It's called Silverados in Nashville. Seven to eleven, all you can drink bottle beer for seven dollars domestic. Bro, I was smashed, bro. When I tell you, I w- I would get my money's worth. It's still there. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Thank you, baby Jesus. Silverados. Gonna be there. It's a great. It's actually a great place. And so, so from like seven to like ten ish, maybe nine, it was all country. And this then, is in Nashville. Yeah, and then after ten, ten or eleven, that it become like you know club music, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was so much fun. And then um, the only time I ever got beer goggles. Oh. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have sex with the girl, but like oh. I made the girl I probably should have made out with. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. We, we all make mistakes. John calls that a day that ends in Y. <laughs> so, no, but I remember one time, Thanks actually, I was, I was a fighter guy. So, they're doing line dancing, and, like, they really take it to the heart there. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, I, I never I never line dance, so I'm mm-hmm. trying to learn. So I'm trying to learn how to line dance, and this guy trips trips because of me. Like he goes and tells the bouncer, the bouncer legit walks up and kicks me off the floor. Yeah. Bro, I was like, why? He's like, because you made that dude jump. I'm like, which guy? He point, he did the bottle with a table bottle. He points to the guy. I run after the guy. I'm like, and I, I get his face, dude. This dude, like, cowers down. Like, nee, nee. Yeah, it was great, dude. But, uh, yeah. So just because was, just because they thought you were ruining the flow of the line yeah, dancing? Yeah, 100%. Wow. You almost got in a fight over line dancing. Yeah, I would have done it, too. I, I would have fought the guy. I was so mad. I was trying to learn. That's I was I was trying to be. Listen. Something tells me you weren't. You jumped out there just kind of being a smart ass, trying to mess up. I was everybody. just trying to get some, you know, some JJ. Well, and you got you came close with your big beer goggles. No, the guy don't know. I was not. I I, I recognized <laughs> that real quick. I did, and I was like, that's not a good decision. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> so we stopped. We stopped. We stopped the situation. But no. But uh, yeah, dude. It was uh, it was uh, it was an interesting place. Like it was. Here's a crazy part. I like, saw so there. Like I love Trevecca. Great, great college. Like. Professors are amazing. So they have like dorms all around, and like they have like regular dorms, but they also they have like married couple dorms. Like you, oh, it's couple. like a family. It's yeah. almost like a family. It's crazy. Dorm. Yeah, but yeah, but I wasn't allowed to live off campus. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna save me a way more money. And they're like, yeah, no, good luck with that. I was like, oh, but yeah, you're gonna let couples. So you have to be like 22 to live off campus. It was crazy. It's very strange. It was weird. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I get it. It's you know, they're uh, things are a little different down there. Yeah, yep. but it was uh, it was uh, we had to go to church what, twice a week or once a week. We had chapel. Seriously? Yeah. In wow. college. Yeah. Huh. We had to go, you had to go. You had to go, and then uh, I would just do like crosswords all the time because you know. But it was interesting. It was a, it was it was a great place. So great people. Like loved everything about it. Like they were just um, everything. Honestly, people were great. You know, it was just uh, just different atmosphere. It was like it was like being in Cleveland. How everyone was so nice. You know and. The city was awesome. Like Nashville is beautiful. Like, I told my wife, I'm like, if I didn't meet you, I'd, I'd be living down there right now. That's how, much I, that's how much I love it. It's an incredible city. It's, it's beautiful. It's like legit. It's clean and beautiful. I've never been. That's oh. on my list of places. We to talked go. about going out there. I think that's if gotta I, be the boys' trip. That would either yeah. be the boys' trip. We do a podcast if, on that. If I ever trick anybody into marrying me, that could be the bachelor party and destination. Ooh. There you go. All the way in. Speaking of the that, well, speaking of the married couple dorms, I'm trying to cut him off down, before he man makes down fun down of me. Under, God damn it! <laughs> really quick. I knew he was coming with something. I was just trying to like get ahead of it. Yeah, but no, you you can't skip ahead. Is this so? When you are engaged and we have the bachelor party, are you going to ask me then? No to speech. S- speech. No speech. At your wedding, you get no, no speech. Oh, yeah. Serious question. Yeah. Who's, in the, who's in the wedding? We'll just put who's you in the wedding. We'll put you in the corner and you can just talk to no one. Who's in the wedding? What? Who's in the wedding? What, I don't know. He has to find a woman first. Yeah, well, I'm I like, yeah, you're. That's a couple steps. We're skip. We're, we're skipping steps. Here. Yeah, we're yeah. skipping a lot. I want to know now. I'm not in the wedding. I just get to give a speech. No, <laughs> actually, I'll make it happen. Hold on, yes. I got a good pool. So there's that's right. There's a random random uh, thing I, at OU. The married couples dorm is only by the. Pr- it's there's one on. Oh, they actually have one, one too. There's one on OU's wow. campus, but it's by anything productive. Like it's near the rec center and like other. It's all po- the yeah, there's, shit. Yeah, it's probably like <laughs> anything that would be like, oh, you like you kind of figured out life yeah, a little bit before yeah. everybody else. Well, it was right, crazy. So. Talk about college. So I go to Cleveland State, right? <clears throat> it was in, but first year I was in the dorm. It's called Viking Hall. <sighs> It was an old holiday and yep. sketchy. Oh, it was, yeah. Great, great time though. Mm-hmm. Great time. You seen their new dorms? Oh, it's amazing. It's like condos, Unbelievable. bro. Unbelievable. Stupid, right? Mm-hmm. My brother's like, oh yeah, I'm get in the condo. I'm like, shut up. Like, you don't understand. You, you, you have a great. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> the struggle for what CSU was. No, dude, it was crazy. So, dude, it was awesome though because their dorms though was like free for all. Like, yeah. you, they didn't have like a girls' floor, boy. It was all just like, had, dude, it, there was some shit going on. Yeah. Like you, you would hear shit. I'm like, ooh, I put my ear against the door. Like, good for them, you know? Right. It was what's that stuff called? AMS, whatever. And what's that? Oh, uh, I don't want to. I know what they. I know what he's looking I for. I don't do. want to say. I don't know what it is. ASMR. AMS. Sorry, it was like that the whole time. ASMR. Whatever. ASMR. Same thing. So, no, yeah. I thought I said it wrong. Right. So then, uh, you know, I went to um, Coker. Well, Coker was cool because it was kind of the same thing. Um, but then I go to the Trevac and it was all boys and like two Very hours different. on Sunday. I'm like, okay, you know, it was, it was, it was a little interesting. I didn't realize it was that, uh, that lockdown. Yeah. I mean, but it wasn't like terrible. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just awkward cause I wasn't used to it. You know, like, but we can do, I mean, they, they have the rules, you know, you got to follow them, but uh, it was, uh, it was a cool time though. But that, that, that Nashville was awesome. They had the mum street. They had like, I remember one time, I think it was like called. Tin Roof or something like that, the bar roof, Tin Roof or Shy Town or something. I remember, but uh, I'm sitting there and like I'm a big dude, I'm like six five, 
I'm legit sitting at the bar, about to get a shot, right? And this dude walks next to me and, like, towers over me. I look up. Oh, what's up, my man? You know, because me, I'm, you know, I talk to everyone. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, do you play hockey? He's like, I do. I play for the blood of this. I'm like, let's do a shot, my friend. He's like, okay. Do we just get after it? Great dude. Like, what was his name? I don't remember. That's because you but, can't pronounce hockey players' names. Or I can't talk as it is in membership. True. But anyway, but yeah, he but was you great. remember when you were 10 years old, every game you played in Little League. So. Score and it was, oh, I think, yeah. Anyway, but, so, but I forgot to punch in the face. But anyway, um, yeah, so the dude was great, though. Great dude. We did a couple of shots. But then I went to another party. <laughs> another party. Crazy story. So we go to this, like, little, I can't remember what bar it was, but this little bar had, like, a little stage. And there's this old dude playing. And people are packed in this place now. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, who is this guy? It's like this multi record playing producer. Yep. He wins Grammy won Grammys. Yep. But I didn't know idea who it was. But this dude's like a legend. Mm-hmm. And he's just playing and people were like, Oh my god, like, yeah. this dude's amazing. And he had good music, there's no question. Yeah. But like I just I didn't know who he was. And so I'm like, I'm listening to him like great time. Dude, so the GM or whatever, they, or the, the the manager of the place was like, Get the F off my stage. You suck. I'm like, what is going on? It was like Roadhouse. A whole fight breaks out. People start swinging. Jesus. I get punched in the face. I jack a dude in the face. I look at my room, our old roommates from the, my roommate from the apartment, jumping off the stage, knocking a dude in the head, like breaks his hand. Jesus. I'm like, craziness, right? So <laughs> the fight breaks out. People were just fighting people for no reason. It was, it was like there's no like. It, it was like Roadhouse. It, it 100% was Roadhouse. Yeah. So anyway. So I run it because like, I'm sitting there getting a beer. I might have been talking to a girl, and I'm running over and like to get my buddy because I'm like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a nurturing mother. Make sure he's okay. And some dude like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm like, why? Like my boy said to this day, he cannot believe that I took that punch. I run like, I'm like this. I'm running like, hit, hit like this, and, he just, and just straight took it across my jaw. I go, I looked at the guy, I'm like, why? And I just straight yoked him. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, so all that happens, the fight breaks off. So then I, I didn't, I don't think I even drink that night. And I'm sitting there. And uh, I'm driving this little Honda Civic home, and he's hammered, so I'm driving home. And all of a sudden, uh, we we get out, and like Nashville's weird. The, their 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 freeways are like they all mend together. It's weird. It's like awkward. But what I remember, and so all of a sudden we pull behind this massive like F three fifty Dooley's huge huge truck. And I'm just talking to him, dude. And he's he's driving a Honda Honda Civic stick shift, and and like, it almost looks like I'm creeping, but I'm not. I'm not creeping. This dude legit just puts his truck in first, has a huge hitch on it, oh, and just crushes his car, right? You just see his hood go, like, halfway up. I'm like, I'm in shock. I'm like, what? So we get out. So this dude gets out, and he, like, stumbles on the truck. I'm like, dude. So then there's, like, a, a law, I guess, and, like, Nashville or Tennessee, whatever, like, you can't just pull, like, you can't just arrest someone, like, under suspicion. Like, you, there has to be a reason for it. This dude comes out with a cane, or the cop comes with a cane. He like dumps something out before the cop comes. I'm like, come on, dude. So then the cop comes to us. He's like, blah blah blah, just being a dick, right? And so I'm like, I'm like, sir. I'm like, I swear to God, we're just sitting here. This dude back into me, and he's, what are you guys doing? I'm like, we go to school, blah, blah blah. We play baseball. He's like, oh, I play ball too. Position. I'm like, third base. He's like, yeah, my man, best friend. Yeah. Then the guy realizes, like, listen, dude, I can all you do is put in the tank. The great was guy, great guy. But uh, so we we told. His, this drunk dude the whole time before the cops came that we were waiting for the tow truck because I'm like, you have to wait. You ran into us. He's like, okay, okay. And then the cop That's came. He's like, he's like, why you got to do me like that? I'm like, because I'm not letting you drive and you could possibly hurt someone else. Yep. So, but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty bad. It was, that, that was a crazy night. Yeah. Was, Isn't like, it weird, uh, like, back to the bar fight? Well, even... Even the accident thing, but the bar fight though too. Like, isn't it weird when you're the one that's not drinking and you just see everybody else and yeah. you start seeing I the wheels come I off? That and so you're like, I was working at the mall at the time. I was working at Abercrombie and Fitch, and like, oh, 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 what, <laughs> what, the Fitch? Were you, you the door model? No, no, no. I was, I was, I was, I was back in the. Oh my god! Back in the. Uh, Clothing <laughs> we gotta save fold, this fold for another clothes. topic. Yeah. We gotta save this for another podcast. You were an Aber- <laughs> Jesus, Abercrombie Fitch model. How much fucking shit I pulled? None. Yeah, <laughs> none so, at all. <laughs> we're uh, we're hitting that one hour mark. Did you have anything else you wanted to touch on? I know you had a few things on the list, but I'm nothing good. imperative. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna jump into a couple of messages um, from Instagram. Mm-mm-mm. And so Instagram, baby. this guy's name is Mister Nile. 
Okay. Hello, John, Jamie, and Stipe. Hope you're all well. Not much of a podcast guy, but I like listening to your podcast while I play games. I have a question for Stipe. You may have already answered this, but I'm new to watching UFC and MMA, and I'm wondering how you manage your time while consistently training, being a firefighter, doing the podcast, and most importantly, being a dad with another baby on the way. Love from Ireland. Keep up the great work. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Ireland. Um, I don't really watch my kids. I'm not really into them. (laughs) <laughs> when my wife do that. Um, now, um, <clears throat> honestly, I just like being busy. I just, uh, you know, uh, make sure I have time. I have a great wife to manage my schedule, make sure I'm doing the right things, and just having the right, I guess, like system, I guess. I mean, yeah, right hand, like the right system, man, the right people around you, making sure you're doing the right things. So that's pretty much what it is. Uh, Thanks the question, though. So the real RG wants to know... You put up a snippet of a Little League photo. And he was just wondering if Legend. you had the full one, along with our other ones from growing up. I lost them all over the years and would love to get a look back at those. Can't wait to see you all on the 28th. I'll have a bottle of Slevo ready to go. So this is apparently somebody you know or played ball with, and they're coming golfing with us at the uh, Allison Rose Foundation golf outing. We, we're doing so. right? we got more, more people. We uh, are. We are. AllisonRoseFoundation.org. <laughs> um, got to throw it in there. So let's talk about that. I have no pictures at all. Yeah, where did that picture come from that day? Actually, so the guy, the team I played for was Polito Landscaping. Yep, that was his dad. Uh, his dad's the kid, uh, Dom. Yep, that was his dad's company. And did he have the it. picture like yeah. in his pocket? No, it was on the phone. I know, I was just kidding. Well, because I met him, a friend, I haven't seen him in so long. I forget what he looks like. I mean, it's been I don't know how many years. Right. And that's right. And then it kind of clicked. I'm like, holy shit. And then, uh, yeah, he just probably had, he wanted to show me last time. He was like, who's the good fanboy? I'm like, bro, we're teammates, bro. Yeah. Teammates, like, teammates for life. Teammates Bad for boys life. for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. All right. That was me. That was me. <laughs> so I the, thought you were uh, actually on board with that joke. <laughs> that was a good one. So the good. last one comes from. Uh, we actually went through both our email and... Um, they tried to get a hold of us. Well, and I, I want to make sure I get his name right, so I'll go with the email. It's Ashken Zirizadeh. Something like that. So it says, yo, how are you doing, awkward buddies? I'm a big fan of the podcast and also the man, the legend, the one and only Jamie. It's like the third time I heard that. I feel like you've been writing this. Nope. I'm <laughs> I know. I'm just putting names together. I'm I, the name. Hold on. The name on the email is similar to your Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, uh, I'm Iranian, so not only the podcast entertains me, but it's really good for my English, especially when I'm <laughs> not my, not when I talk. Especially when I understand what Stipe is saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's an A plus for my listening. You're Thank welcome. you, Stipe, for being such a nice, friendly, humble guy. I'm not into MMA. The only reason I'm following am MMA I. is the GOAT. I try to learn from you in being friendly with everyone. And thank you, Jamie and JP and Jack. Who's Jack? I, I, trying, I, I, was, I read Jack. that. I was trying to figure it, it out. It says, I don't know who Jack is either. Do, do I think it's Seth? Did we just start calling Seth Jack? I think that's I it. I think we just got to call Seth Jack. Yep. Hey, Jack, you're not yeah. cutting anything out. Yeah. 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 No, we're not cutting yeah. anything out, Jack. Jack, we'll have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was it for the week, boys. Um... We were getting more and more every week. I thought though, there was a. It? I thought there was another one. Oh well, there was. Not. Oh, the guy uh, we wished a happy birthday to actually hit us up on Instagram. He followed up. He's like, he "Oh, did. thanks for yeah. mentioning." Da da da. Yeah, he did. So, so you're anyway, welcome. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. So, oh, and his uh, his girlfriend actually tried to donate to the Allison Rose Foundation. She sent the link and was like, "Is this correct?" I didn't, Are you serious? I didn't answer back. I thought you would have done. I didn't see it. Um, Roadhouse. I will. Uh, I will follow back up. Um, all right, so uh, John is leaving for Portland, Oregon Guys on trip, Thursday. A bunch of semen flying around in a couple of days. And we are still hoping to, uh, I think we're going to catch up on Sunday, get another one done. We are going to have Jan Gomes on. Are we We're going to make that announcement? I'm going to make it happen. You're going to make that announcement? Make it happen, yep. All right, Major League Baseball's Jan Gomes. Catcher, World Series champion. World Series champion. My favorite Brazilian, favorite one catcher. One of my favorite all-time Indians. Too. One of my favorite just people in general. What a good dude. Yeah. So uh, we'll get into the story about how he got us a box behind the home plate. We drank all. You. The, we drank all the beers. You. What? You just tagged along, my friend. I know. He got us. Well, you. you. No, you yeah, he got you. you. I said us. Oh, Jamie wasn't there. I didn't. Yeah, anyway, but Jamie, we'll you went to the World Series twice. Hey, you know what? <laughs> we'll, we'll get. Did you made yourself go? We'll get into. <laughs> hey, you gotta. 
uh, what is it? Imagine yourself in the situation. That's Manifest. Maybe that's what you should do to get a girlfriend. Maybe that's what you should do to get a girlfriend. Get a girlfriend. Uh, you're you're we're probably not go, wrong. We're going to go anyway. off the rails. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, we got to get out of here. All right. Anyway, all right. Thanks Good for listening. <laughs> thanks for listening, everybody, to the Jabs Podcast. You can reach us at the period jabs period podcast at gmail.com. You can hit us up on Instagram and Twitter at Jabs Podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Also, make sure you follow us on YouTube. Watch our videos of the podcast. Uh, you can go on YouTube and just search Jabs Podcast. You can find Steve Amiocic on all social media platforms at Steve Amiocic. You can find Jamie at Mekalek, M E K A L E K. And you can find me on Instagram at JP Chubak. It's like Chubak without the C A. Thanks for listening, everybody. We hate Rick Russo. Hey guys, tricycles ride, tricycles. Tricycles ride, tricycles. They do. Guess Peace what? Out. You like happy trails, you get hair in your teeth. Have a great week, everybody. Oh, God. And this.